So on Sunday morning, I received a phone call from a lady that was down at Jack's Point, which is one of our beaches here in Tamaru. She had come across a bird that was laying basically on the edge of the sea, so it was still getting slammed by the water. And it was half fly wrapped in seaweed. She asked me if I was willing to take it, which, of course, don't bird said that was no problem, and I kind of presumed that it must have been a blackback gull just because of where it was found. She actually carried it for 25 minutes down the beach to back to her car, brought it round to my house where we realised that it was not a blackback gull but it was a white-caped mollywalk. Talk to me about the size because it's I've seen some of your pictures. It's, it's a large bird. I thought a blackback gull was big but this bird was, I'd say... Probably about double the length of a black bat gull and the wingspan is about 2.2 metres. So that must have been quite a heavy thing for this woman to carry down the beach. Absolutely. Because it was exhausted as well, it wasn't, of course, it didn't have much fight in it, which made things a little bit easier for her. But yes, the weight would have been quite, quite heavy. <laughs> so what did you do once you got the bird into your, your house? What did you do? So the first thing we did was we set it up on a heat pad because it was so cold and wet. And once we'd done that, I got straight on the phone to Doc to let them know that I had this bird and basically to find out what the next steps were. We agreed that it definitely needed to go down to the Dunedin Wildlife Hospital because they have the best facilities down there for that type of bird. And so we just kept in contact over the whole time. I took it to my local vet that deals with all my birds and it was given fluids. And then we brought it back home and just basically kept it warm and dry, quiet, until we could find a ride for it down to Dunedin, which a lady that runs Project Kiriru down in Dunedin, Nick, she actually helped us find a ride for it, which was fantastic. So your vet, obviously you take birds uh, to the vet fairly regularly, but this must have been something the vet doesn't see. So what was her reaction? She couldn't believe the size. (laughs) It was was definitely the, the biggest thing, I think. She'd never seen anything like it. So it was, yeah, definitely a first for her, along with all of us as well. And I guess at this point, because the bird was just so tired, cold, it just wasn't putting up any fight still. So it was, you know, with that, because I can imagine if that bird just put its wings out, that must have been, that would have been quite something. Yeah, it would have been. But yeah, no, it, there was just no energy in it whatsoever. It wasn't trying to bite absolutely nothing. It was just, yeah, completely exhausted. And then the ride that you managed to get down to Dunedin. So who offered their services? How did they come about? Were they just someone that was driving down? And just, what, you know, was it put in the back of a car? What what was so, it? So it was actually a friend of Nick's, which is actually a beat herself, which was quite handy. Um, and she just happened to be coming through from Christchurch driving a horse truck. Empty uh, horse truck? And she had horses in it, but the bird was put in the box that it was in. It was put next to her on the passenger seat for the trip. Oh, wow. And so um, at, at the point that you handed the bird over, what sort of state was it in? So by then it had perked up a lot. It had actually started standing, which was amazing because even I did not think that that bird was going to perk up at all, let alone make it down to Dunedin and get this far. Amazing. Yeah. Are you getting updates now from uh, from Dunedin? So I haven't had too, too much. Last time I heard they were planning on doing some blood tests just to make sure everything was okay internally. The other worry was because of it being basically smashed by the waves so much, there was a lot of damage to its feathers. So the other worry is that it may not be very well waterproof now. So if it was to be released, it would basically drown if it got too wet. Yeah, so it was a big time thing to try and yeah, make sure everything's A-OK before it gets released. 